let's go ahead and talk a little bit about um, right time, right AI. And AI is the topic mm -hmm. today. Um, it is front and center. And it's new for many traditional contact centers where they're integrating and incorporating AI into the sprinkler or into the, their contact center mix. At Sprinkler, it seems like that's been a go-to-market from day one. Is that true, Jay? Yeah, Frank, it's, it's, a, it's a great lead-in from a perspective um, on several different fronts. One is, yes, you're right. Uh, I would say we've been AI-centric. Uh, for about seven years of our history. That's really when um, we we made the the switch, if you will, to have it be at the core. And at the core, I think, is the is a critical differentiator. A lot of people uh, are challenged with, okay, well, we have live chat. We need AI for our live chat. Okay, we want to do uh, QM. We want to do quality management around the phone calls after the fact. Well, why do you do it after the fact? And why do you have a different provider for AI than your chatbot? Like those are all that speaks to is integration hurdles. And so when we talk about AI, we, we, we talk about it within the entire platform, regardless of the user. And we're just trying to make their job more, more enjoyable, right? Believe it or not, having an agent actually enjoy their role and their job and not be so stressed trying to find resources. So there's a lot of things in and around agent assist, but we also do this across a hundred plus languages. We also uh, do this across verticals. So Vicky was mentioning, you know, uh, summarization, uh, and it, or maybe it's a specific vertical around banking, right? You don't go and have to train our AI to understand what the common inquiries are going to be. We have entire libraries of them. For example, what's my balance? I'd like to open up a new account. I'd like to transfer money. We're not a toolkit. We come in with a uh, pre-built, verticalized uh, set of AI for your particular industry. And then, of course, it learns over time, or we can load up hundreds of hours or thousands of hours of, of phone um, you know, interactions and even have the model trained that way. So uh, it's about continuous improvement, but you don't start from scratch. And I think that's a real key thing to think about when people are entertaining a purchase of AI. So it sounds like when it comes to AI, Sprinkler has this mindset of having these solution accelerators, the ability to move yeah. quickly into AI. But we also know that there is an adoption phase, uh, an, an area where discovery is important, where you need to uncover inside the business where the obstacles and the problems and the friction is, where we need to be able to understand that journey. I would imagine that as part of how you engage with the client, I know that's how we do it, how we work together with you, that in that discovery, we document that extremely well so that we have a clear go-to-market plan. Yeah, and, and Frank, back to one of your themes before about the future. You know, some of the future is now, right? Chat GPT, <laughs> large language model, right. uh, integrations. That's that's really the, the what's brought AI into the forefront of people's conversations. Mm -hmm. And we've also adopted that as well. So we've been working with OpenAI for almost four years. And in our platform, we, we provide great guardrails for the query and response for those large language model engines. And we provide our customers a choice. So you can use OpenAI. We also announced that we're now uh, deployed and live with Google Vertex, which is their, ver their commercial version of Bard, if you will. And then there's others that we'll be adding as well, because obviously Amazon has Bedrock, uh, even Meta has uh, new offerings in this space. And so mm -hmm. we really say, don't pick one, pick the one you want, and we'll give you the option from a customer choice perspective. And that's just an enhancement to what I would say, maybe it's 90% sprinkler AI, 95%. And then we utilize these large language models for specific tasks, like Vicky noted, of summarization. That's gotcha. one thing it's very, large language models are very, very good at. Um, but it could be on the marketing side as well. I think we'll we'll touch on that in our in our dialogue going forward. Awesome. Vicky, how would that look in in the uh, in the interface? Yeah, so let me go ahead and throw up my screen here. So a really cool way that some of this AI actually comes to fruition is in our quality management piece. So to back up a little bit, if we haven't noticed already, Sprinkler does everything in the areas of customer service um, and as well as marketing, which we'll touch on later, uh, like Jay mentioned. But one element of this is quality management. So if we're thinking about this, 
um, oftentimes companies like they have maybe one or two quality managers that maybe can audit two, three, five percent of all of their cases coming in. And by the time they've tallied up all the trends that they're seeing, um, it might be a little bit too late to give that type of insight back to the whole customer service center so that they can act on it. So what Sprinkler has done here, if we're looking at one particular case, there's a lot going on right here, but um, we're looking at one particular case with AI scored quality breakdown. So what this means is that 100% of cases can get run through this AI model and they're scored, um, these agents are scored on some of these softer skills. So opening quality, like did they mention their name? Did they say hi properly? Did they mention the brand name? Um, did they handle closed times or hold times well, or did they interrupt the customer, for example? So every single case that hits Sprinkler will get run through this AI model. And Vicky, this is happening throughout the day, correct? This isn't happening, mm -hmm. you know, in intervals of every two hours, there's an update. This is something that is real time and fluid. Yeah, this is instantaneous for every single and, case. And if I may, even to the point of escalation. So yep. it live as the case or as a conversation is happening or the interaction is happening, it's also being scored. And if we have a, you know, a, a drop in CSAT during the phone call, the AI is identifying that and can even alert the manager that and then provide the manager with a summary. And then that manager then can jump into the call and try and assist if it's really going poorly. <laughs> so since you have this real time translation underway, does this make itself mm -hmm. into being able to provide agent support, agent assist? Yes, and I think uh, in the previous screen, uh, Vicky, when she was when she was highlighting the agent console, uh, there were things called agent nudges um, and some other, uh, as you see here, agent nudges and smart assist. Those pains, if you will, are going to be dynamic during the entire interaction, where it is listening to the the AI is listening to the the interaction, the phone call, and then making suggestions on next, you know, next suggested response. As simple as that. Or it could be like, here's a similar case that will help you because it's looking through the entirety of, yeah, there you go. Like here's some historical information, another case that might help you out to resolve this customer's issue. Or it could trigger a workflow that says, hey, they just asked to open up a new account and then it'll walk them through all the steps required. Uh, thank you very much, Vicky. Perfect. <laughs> all the steps that are required to be able to assist that customer in terms of even gathering personal information, which is done in a secure way. 13 of the top 14 banks in the world uh, utilize Sprinkler. So we have gone through the security rigor and all the different uh, issues that you need to address uh, to ensure you can provide service uh, in these scenarios uh, at a very secure way. And is all this based on or predicated on the fact that you've built a knowledge base inside of this solution so that organizations can configure it towards whatever their needs are? Yeah, so there is a knowledge base uh, that Sprinkler provides, or you can tap into a third party knowledge base if that's the case. In addition to that, it's the AI is creating and updating a knowledge base of its own, right? And learning over time as we, as we spoke about uh, in the various languages as well. So there's a, um, you know, when you deal with the world's largest brands on the planet, they don't operate in English, right? Many of our customers will operate in 66, 70 languages on our platform, depending on the region, depending on the interaction. And then you have scenarios as well where the agent speaks English, but the inbound speaks another language. And we have translation capabilities as well in real time. That's powerful. That's incredibly powerful. Mm -hmm.